to I'm opening up the November 2023 Pro Wrestling Crate Wrestling Subscription Mystery Box. This is a monthly box that's available from ProWrestlingTees.com. 30 bucks a month plus shipping in this box, you get an exclusive, two actually exclusive t-shirts only available in this box, all the way from size small to 5XL. You get an exclusive autograph, sometimes you get two, very rarely, but it seems like maybe once a year, once every 18 months, they'll throw in two autographs. Just, I think a couple months ago, we got a two autograph box, which was very nice. You also get a micro brawler. Sometimes you'll get um, bonus comic books, wrestling masks, DVDs. You'll get pins. You'll get just, it's full of really good stuff for 30 bucks a month. Craziness, right? Here we go. November box. So for this, for this year, there's only one box left. One box left. So November. I know last month it was like the uh, the mask and paint theme box. This month I have no idea what the theme was. I don't remember. Okay, right on top we have the spoilers card. The back of this has all spoilers. We don't want to see that yet. This is the November Crate 2023 Pro Wrestling Crate Menu. Spoiler alert. Other side of the card. Next month's crate features trying out our first ever true mystery crate. You'll just have to wait and see. Happy holidays they've always given it you know what that probably means they don't have anything planned yet that's actually probably what that means because <laughs> for years now they've always given like a teaser for the next month for what five six years now i bet that means next month they don't have anything planned yet they just have to throw it together still that's okay that's okay that's okay just just put in the card we don't actually have anything planned yet we're trying to get things sorted together we're trying to get Picture signed. It's okay. Here we go. First t-shirt. We have a, oh, it's a nice uh, Heather Gray color t-shirt. Super soft. Super soft t-shirt. Here we go. Who we have. Is it awesome? We have, what does that say? Dust, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, I do like it. Dusty Rhodes. Dream come true heavyweight world champion. Dusty Rhodes. August 21st, 1979. Tampa, Florida. Cool t-shirt right there. That's a Gildan Ultra Cotton t-shirt. Very, very soft, nice, nice color t-shirt. That's not bad. I like the graphic. It's not like overly like cartoonish graphic, how sometimes Pro Wrestling Craze, sometimes the designer of their t-shirts, they have very cartoony-like graphics. A little too cartoony for what I usually wear. Um, this is more like what I like wearing. Stuff kind of like this, you know? Graphics, words. I like this, it's cool. I, I, like, I like the t-shirt. It's not a black t-shirt, but I do like the coloring on that shirt. It's nice. I'm actually not even wearing a black t-shirt today. I'm wearing a navy blue cup shirt. Let's do the micro brawler. Here we go. The back says Big John Stud. Did I get the chase? Looks like I did not. Big John Stud micro brawler. These always have chase variations, which obviously sell for quite a bit more than the normal version. Micro Brawlers used to have so much more value than what they do now. Because they used to be only exclusive to Pro Wrestling Crate, but then they started doing like one-off shoots on, on the websites. And they kind of like killed their own value. So these used to be so much more collectible than what they are now. That's okay though. I mean, they're they're still worth, you know, 10, 15 bucks a piece. Sometimes six to eight dollars a piece. Sometimes I can't even get rid of them for five dollars. Big John Stud, he's probably gonna be about six to eight dollar figure probably. This feels like socks. Let me pull the socks out. We got, oop, yeah. That is Smash from Demolition. I can see the face paint. That is Smash. Looks like we have some Axe and Smash Demolition socks. Nice. I don't wear socks like these, so these always will be for sale. Anything from this box, I do not keep personally. I always put for sale in my eBay store. There'll be a link down below to my eBay. The socks will be for sale. The micro ball be for sale t-shirt, I'll have to decide later on. I have hundreds of t-shirts already. I'm pretty picky now which t-shirts I keep from all these boxes. I don't keep very many t-shirts anymore. I'm very, very selective of which ones I keep because I, I I have so many shirts. I I have probably hundred shirts brand new I've never even worn yet still. But socks are cool. I just do not wear, I just wear basic black socks. I don't wear anything fancy like that. Let's see. Here is a pin and a sticker. Sticker, we got MJF. MJF sticker with the devil mask. And pin, 
CM Punk in Punk We Trust. Yeah, we won't be seeing very much more CM Punk stuff in the Pro Wrestling Crate Box since he just premiered on um, Survivor Series, what was it, Saturday night, just a few nights ago. But, I mean, we pretty much, it was highly speculated that he was going to return at Survivor Series. Highly speculated. And, um, yeah, since he's now with WWE, and WWE is very strict on wrestlers under contract, they don't let them appear in these, these kinds of boxes. So, yeah, Pro Wrestling Crate is probably going to put out something soon. There will be a final day where, where they can sell CM Punk merchandise. I haven't seen anything yet on their website. I'm sure it's coming soon. But yeah, we won't see much more punk stuff available. Or unless if CM Punk worked out some kind of sweetheart deal, which I highly doubt it. But we'll see what happens. Let's do their t-shirt. Okay, we have a black t-shirt. Not as soft as the gray t-shirt. And we got, oh, we got the bear. We got Champa. Okay, we actually, I, we, we've had one like this before. In the past, haven't we? This actually looks very, very familiar, like the same kind of, the same design, haven't we? Maybe it was in a different box. Maybe it was WrestleCrate UK, or maybe Pro Wrestling Loot or something, but we've seen almost this exact same design before on a previous shirt from a subscription box. Or am I just going crazy? I might just be going crazy though, but not a bad, not a bad shirt. I'm just not a fan of him. I won't keep keep that shirt. Not a fan. That's okay. You don't have to be a fan of every single wrestler in the business. You don't have to. Comic book. Yep. We have Headlocked Tales from the Road. An illustrated Thanksgiving special code created by Trish Stratus. The Gratitude Era Tales from the Road. So if you're a comic book fan, like they'll put in like little comic books like this, some of the boxes. Little super short, short reads. Great, you know, give these give these two to your kids. Let them flip through them. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Wow. On the very back page. Look at that. Take a screenshot of that right now. Screenshot that. Screenshot it. Trishstratus.com exclusive. 50% off of her autograph Funko Pop with promo code PWCRATE. Oh my. That's a heck of a deal. Trishrash.com, her website, half off an autographed Funko Pop with this promo code. Better take advantage of that. I actually, I have her, her normal Funko Pop autograph, but I don't have her diamond exclusive. This is for a diamond exclusive pop. I might actually have to get one of those. That's, that's probably going to be really cheap. Half off? Take advantage of that promo code. PW Crate. Last item, it's stuck in there. Autograph photo. I know last month it was Zodiac. It was, um, um, Bruce Barber Beefcake and Zodiac. Very unusual autograph for that box. My comment section for that video, people kind of felt the same way, like that wasn't really one that most people wanted. It wasn't really a popular autograph they put in that box. Hopefully this one kind of makes up for a little bit. Let's see who I got. Who do we have? It's upside down. We have Eric Young. Okay, I already have two or three of his autographs from previous subscription boxes i think i have one of his from pro wrestling crate from like three or four years ago i have a couple of his i think from wrestle crate uk and also i think one of his from the old that wrestling club box i think i have three or four of his from past um subscription boxes so i, I have quite a few quite a few so i actually won't keep this this one because i, I already have plenty of eric young signed photos Quite a few, so and this it was an okay box. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't super impressed with this box. Best item is probably gonna be the Dusty Roads t-shirt. In terms of like things that I might keep. I don't even know for sure I will keep it. The micro brawler. I mean, obviously. A legendary wrestler but not really anything that i would keep the socks not, not my kind of thing I'm not a huge fan of champa you know this has no value it's just a sticker i uh, i don't collect pins this is an autograph we all have like three or four of if, if you do these kinds of boxes from all the companies you already have this guy three or four times already so yeah i give this box like a 
if it's a a five star rating in this box, like a two out of five. Last month's rating also wasn't very good, I don't think. So, yeah, hopefully next month's box a little bit better. It's a, it's a total mystery box next month. No teaser because I think they don't even know what they're going to do yet. I bet. I, I bet they're kind of. Hopefully it's better. So not this year. I haven't really been too impressed with pro wrestling crate boxes. The quality seems like they've been going down in terms of quality. I just haven't been really too impressed with most of their boxes this year. Kind of lackluster. Maybe I'm just kind of getting tired of them too. I've been doing this box now for how many, what, five years, I think, maybe? Maybe five years? I bet I have. I think I might just, maybe it's time to, maybe it's time to retire the Pro Wrestling Crate box. Maybe it's time I just, should I retire the box and just quit buying it? Maybe my heart's not in this box anymore. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you have you been buying this box as long as has as I have? Like literally, I think at least five years. Do you kind of like just kind of feel this kind of? I mean, it's it's still killer value. This is a good value, but I just I'm not really excited about this stuff much anymore. I'm just kind of eh. Okay, that's fine. Do you feel the same way, or just me? It's probably just me. Comment down below. How do you feel? It's probably just me, right?